Hey friends, and welcome in to A Walk Through the Word, Daily Bread with Crystal Fry. I am your host, Crystal Fry, and in today's episode, we're digging into Galatians chapter 5, verse 1, to talk about spiritual freedom. Thank you for being here with me today, and I pray that you will listen with an open heart to hear the Word of God speaking to you. All right, friends, let's dive in. God's Word is powerful. The missing link is our identity in Christ. When we know who we are and who He created us to be, that is when we can truly walk in freedom. You are never alone. There is hope, and that hope is Jesus Christ. Today we're looking at Galatians chapter 5, verse 1, which reads, It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Friends, I want you to listen to that again. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Friends, we are talking here about freedom of your spirit. This is your spiritual freedom. Regardless of your physical condition, we have freedom in Christ. When we think about freedom, we often think of Freedom in the physical aspect, or financial freedom, or time freedom, or freedom to do whatever you want, right? Oftentimes when we think of freedom, we're thinking on it as it relates to our lives here, right? Our earthly lives here in the physical sense. And there is absolutely truth to that, okay? Um, I read somewhere that freedom is understood as either having the ability to act or change without constraint, right? You're, you're free to do things or to possess the power and resources to fulfill one's purposes unhindered. Basically, you're not, nothing's in your way, right? There's nothing stopping you, preventing you from being able to do or to say, or whatever you want. But as we look at it in the context of our scripture today, this is Paul's letter to the church in Galatia. He had some stern words for them. He has concerns for them. If we back up into chapter 4, and we look at verses 8 and 9, Paul says, Formerly, when you did not know God, you were slaves to those who by nature are not gods, But now that you know God, or rather are known by God, how is it that you are turning back to those weak and miserable principles? Do you wish to be enslaved by them all over again? Friends, think about that for a minute. When we wish for freedom, it's generally because we feel as if we are bound to or by something. In 2021, I adopted the word freedom. Many people go through a practice of selecting a word for the year, a a kind of like an overall theme, if you will. In the year 2021, that word for me was freedom. I was seeking freedom from a lot of different things. One of those things being the situation that I was in with my corporate job. I did leave my corporate job in 2021, um, and That year allowed for freedom from a lot of different things, a lot of mindsets, a lot of beliefs, a lot of things that were essentially standing in my way. As we look here, again, at our scripture today, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. So when we have that freedom... Paul says, stand firm then and do not allow yourselves to be burdened again 
don't take on the stuff that you've already been set free from. Don't take that back on. You handcuff yourself back to these things that you walked away from, that you wanted to be set free from. And oftentimes I find that that is one of our struggles. We receive freedom and then we grab right back onto the thing that we were bound to. So how can we not do that? Because I feel like part of it is part of it is ingrained in our nature. We read over and over again in different places in the Bible about idolatry, uh, you know, idol worship, worship of false gods, all that kind of stuff. And I've talked about in different episodes how anything that um, anything that has your time and attention can become an idol. Um, food, shopping, television, all, all the things, your, your smartphone, that thing that you have in your hand all day long and can't seem to put down, anything that you give your time and attention to has the ability to become an idol. There's, the, there's opportunity there if you are not conscious about what priority it has in your life, what importance it has in your life. And I think that's just simply part of our nature as human beings. That's something that we struggle with, but not something that we do not possess the power through the Spirit of Christ to overcome. And as we look, again, as we are focusing on this scripture passage today, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. We are not meant to be bound. We are not meant to be slaves to anything of this world. People, places, things, ideas, concepts, that's not our purpose in life. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Friends, We serve a God who honors choice. We were created by a God who honors choice. There is freedom in choice. God does not dictate to you. He does not barge into your life. He does not violate your trust. He does not come in uninvited. He may give you plenty of opportunities to invite him in, but you still have to invite him in. We have great freedom in our choices because it is we who get to make our choices. But in that, the gift of choice was never meant to keep us in bondage to the things that we struggle with, to the ways of the world, to all of the, all the things. Our choices were not there to keep us bound to those things. This week, we're going to be focusing a lot on freedom, the idea of freedom, what it means for us, and how we can better take advantage of the freedom that we have. So I want you to think about what freedom actually means to you. How do you view freedom? What is your perspective on freedom? What are your feelings on freedom? What, what do you believe freedom is? How would you define freedom? And as you think about that, how does your definition of freedom tie into what we're talking about today and what we will continue to talk about this week. What does that freedom mean to you? What does it look like to you? And as always, I invite you, I invite you to take this question, this, this thought, I invite you to, to wrestle with it. I invite you to take it to God and, and ask Ask the question, this is my perspective. Does it line up with yours? 
because we are not, again, we are not meant to be creatures in bondage. We are meant to be free. And again, I think freedom looks differently depending on your circumstances. But we have to remember that our freedom is not always just about our physical circumstances. There are many, many stories of human beings throughout history who have been in physical bondage, yet have had a freedom that many of us walking around today will not experience because we choose to stay in bondage to things that we don't even realize we're in bondage to. So friends, this freedom is not only about what our physical circumstances are. This is the spiritual freedom that is given to you as a follower of Christ. So friends, I invite you today to evaluate what your perspective, what your opinion, what your thoughts are on freedom and how you would define it in your life. And then again, as we go through the rest of this week and we're talking about different aspects of freedom and we're looking at it from a biblical perspective, I want you to take your definition and see how it stacks up. See if there are any changes. See if maybe maybe you're enlightened by something and it gives you a different perspective. At least gives you something else to think of. Because indeed, friends, it is for freedom that Christ set us free. Thank you, friend, for being here with me today. It is indeed an honor and a blessing to be here with you on this journey every day. And friends, I want to know what's on your heart and what's on your mind. So leave me a comment or send me a message and let me know. I invite you to come back and join me for our next episode and a warning about our freedom in Galatians chapter 5, verses 13 through 15. Until then. Hey friend, thank you so much for joining me on the show today. It's my pleasure as always to be here with you. If what you listened to today resonated with you, if you enjoyed listening to the show, do me a favor, go ahead and like and subscribe to this podcast and leave a review. Those reviews are so helpful. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate each and every single one of them. And go ahead and share this episode out with a friend. Invite them along for a walk through the word and let's enjoy that daily bread together. See you tomorrow.